near the airport, there's a hidden spot that few students at Purdue University know about. It's called Zucra Labs. This facility is home to the Purdue Jet Propulsion Lab, which is one of the best academic labs in the country in addition to rivaling NASA's. The hybrid rocket project began in 2006 and has currently evolved into a much more complex project. This project is designed around the concept of a hybrid rocket propulsion system as explained by Brian Smith. A hybrid rocket motor is kind of the best of both worlds. You get a solid fuel grain, which in our case is low density polyethylene and a liquid oxidizer, which is hydrogen peroxide for us. So our liquid oxidizer is pumped onto the solid fuel grain, it burns, and it is a relatively simple system, but we still get the efficiency that we would get from a liquid fuel. With this propulsion system, it is used for sounding rockets, as Brian explains. So sounding rockets kind of differ from manned space vehicles in that they're smaller, they're cheaper, um, but they go up to space, they take an experiment up there and do experiments that you can only do in a space environment. The rocket that flew in 2008, as shown on the left, is only about 30 pounds in weight. The final weight of the rocket that's on the right, which is projected to launch during the first half of March, will be around 150 pounds. Looking at these two models, you can see that this one's from 2008, and this is actually only the combustion chamber, but the other one is the one that's going out in March, and that's still got another five feet on top of it. And with that, that'll like double this size for the combustion chamber for the rocket that's going out later this year. Fellow team member Dominic Vitello had an evolving role for this project as he explains. Last semester I mainly worked on the propulsion team, so a lot of what we were doing was um, focusing on making sure the nozzle had the desired characteristics to support the, the engine. And um, this semester I'm working on the avionics, so that's going to be the parachute needs to deploy at a certain time. Uh, we need to be able to locate the rocket after the parachutes have deployed and it's come safely back down to Earth. The simulated model of the rocket on the stand is very impressive since the rocket alone is 16 feet tall. Reporting for Fast Track, I'm Alita Donnelly.